Well, good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday and it's August 26th. Um, and as you may or may not know, if you will know if you've been following along with these daily devotions, we're in the Gospel of Luke and we're in the first chapter. Uh, but today we're going to finish the first chapter. We're going to do verses 67 through 80 today. And we uh, uh, are going to be looking at, it's an interesting bit of scripture. Um, and it, it is a, it's, there's prof, it's prophecy. It's, is what it is. Um, this is called often Zachariah's prophecy. Zachariah is speaking. Remember the, the baby, um, Mary has come or Mary's had the announcement. Mary's, um, uh, first, I guess, Zachariah had the announcement. Then Mary had the announcement. Then Mary went to see, uh, Elizabeth and um, then she left and, and John has been born and the, the eight days passed and then they've named John and miraculously Zachariah can talk again. And what does he do? But he bursts into this. Um, and that's what's, the, you know, his name is John. And then he goes into Zachariah's prophecy. Now we had Mary's song or Mary's uh, you know, prayer, or whatever we, we usually call Mary's song, which came just before this, just before the baby's born. Mary is has spoken over, well, bit, bit more Jesus, but John and Jesus, um, and and talked about that. Um, and then John is born, and now we have Zachariah's prophecy or Zachariah's song, sometimes called the second song, with Mary's song being the first song, the second song of Christmas, um, because that's what we're building up to, and we got that ahead of us. Uh, the day that Jesus comes into the world for the first time. Um, but yet we see this and we definitely, I think, have to understand that this is not just talking about the first time Jesus comes into the world um, that is in this, in this prophecy of Zechariah. It, it's one that we, we need to hear. I need to hear. The world needs to hear it. Um, so let's look at it. Uh, we'll end up first chapter of Luke, Zechariah, or excuse me, Zechariah's prophecy, Luke's gospel, chapter one, verses 67 to 80. Then his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. The Spirit, I'll interject there, the Spirit's showing up again. Remember, the Spirit's been involved a lot so far in the first chapter of Luke. And here it is again, and it's speaking through Zechariah. So when the Holy Spirit's speaking, what do we want to do? I think we might want to listen. Um, but I digress. Then his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to, his, to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we being rescued from the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you child will be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins, by the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet unto the way of peace. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. So that little bit of thing starts with the spirit speaking through Zechariah and ends with John growing stronger through that same spirit uh, and preparing for his task, what he is, what is his fate, his destiny, his legacy, the, the role that he plays for us um, in our in our fate. Um, so it is a, it is an important bit of, it's an important song, an important prophecy. Um, he starts off, you know, the, raising up a savior out of the house of David. And of course, now we're going to come in just a little bit. We're going to get to the genealogy of Jesus and that will become important in that. Um, he spoke, just as he spoke through the prophets of old, all right. Uh, and he's comparing, he's comparing 
uh, the, the role of John the Baptist here to, to Elijah going before. Um, we want to look at, and, and this is a scripture that really is heavy on my heart today, is uh, the fourth chapter. We've got the whole thing, the fourth chapter of Malachi. Um, and I don't think I've ever preached from Malachi anywhere that I can remember. Maybe I've preached one sermon. From, oh, I think I have preached one sermon from Malachi, uh, but not here. Um, but Malachi is a good book. Malachi chapter 4, the great day of the Lord. See, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all evil doers will be stubble. The day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who revere my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet. On the day when I act, says the Lord of hosts, remember the teaching of my servant Moses, the statutes and ordinances that I commanded him at Herob for all Israel. Lo, I will send you the prophet Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. He will turn the hearts of parents to their children and the hearts of children to their parents. So that I will not come and strike the land with a curse. And uh, that last part can also be uh, a, a, a utter destruct, destruction. Um, strike the land with utter destruction. Um, Jesus is, we, we, we're, we're talking about here in Luke's gospel, um, about Zechariah prophesying over John that he will be this Elijah figure um, and that, that the, at the first coming. Um, and uh, truly that's what we see him as. We see him as, as preceding Jesus, crying out in the darkness, in the wilderness, that, 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 that God is coming uh, and that through him, uh, we can find grace and salvation and peace and life and love and light and, and, and life. Can't talk. Um, but we need to read that also and understand that this is referencing Malachi 4. And Malachi 4 is not talking about the first coming there. I don't believe it's talking about the second coming. Uh, because when, when Jesus came, there was not destruction. There was, there was this olive branch of, of you've got one last chance. Come back to me. Now, he endures in that chance what we see as an absurdly long time. And so perhaps I need to take, perhaps I need to take that to heart. Uh, we all need to take that to heart. But judgment is coming. I don't talk about the end times much. I don't like trying to discern the end times. The day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all the evildoers will be stubble. Um, we better be ready for that. I don't know what else to say, folks. I'm going to cut it off there, I guess, because I don't know what else to say. But be ready. Have a blessed day. Be a blessing to someone today.